I'm being forcibly removed from the building again of a public lobby, so. So if you want to take out that gun and badge, I'm happy to scrap with you one day. If you want to do it, you let's do it. Let me know, buddy. That is not a crime. And you're telling me to get out of my vehicle. Do you know where Lieutenant Mingus is right now? So no, he's not in the building? I I'm not. What do you know? Okay, I don't want that man taking my picture. Uh, Why don't you take him out of sir, here? Sir, you hit me. I'm gonna do you hit me. Okay, sir, okay now you take my picture, no, 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 no. I don't know you. I'm not telling you nothing else until I find out who's driving that vehicle. You not a supervisor, bro. I need somebody higher than you right now. Uh, if you didn't know, I went to the police academy and they kicked me out. Spit in my face. Today's video takes us to Logan, Utah, where we encounter a fraudster who truly believes he cannot be trespassed from a public building, but finds out differently. Oh, dearie me, the poor lad had his civil rights violated. Of course, he doesn't know what his civil rights are because he doesn't know the meaning of civil rights. Well, perhaps he can go to the library, that's right, the library, and get an education on these things. But in the meantime, we're all going to make fun of him, and we're going to <laughs> enjoy! Hey guys, Cash Valley Transparency here, back with another video. Today I am in Logan, Utah at the Department of Workforce Services building. Uh, that is this building here. We'll be heading inside in a little bit and uh, see if they respect my right to film in public, public accessible areas. Now just imagine for a moment, if you will, if all the private citizens filed privacy complaints, that would theoretically put these frauditors right out of business. Of course, it would put me out of business as well. But the thing of it is, most of the private citizens don't know that they've had their information posted on YouTube. It's a long process to be sure to get a privacy complaint to be successful, but it is possible. I've done it in the past, and you can do it as well. But like I said, there wouldn't be a lot of videos on YouTube if everyone filed a privacy complaint. So you'll see happy faces over people's uh, face, and that's what it's all about. Ten minutes later. Gotta tell the big bad man about me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. What's that? I said, no, you don't film me. I didn't ask to be filmed. Are you in here for a purpose? Perfect reason? Yes, I am. Who allowed you to come in? The owners of the building. Oh, really? Yep. Who are they? You don't know who the owners of the building are? No, who are the owners of the building? You tell me. That's what I'm asking you. You just told me that they told you you could do it. Yep. They sure did. So who are they? The owners of the building. I love these morons when they talk about the owners of the building as in he owns it because he's a member of the public and his tax dollars paid for the building. So he's one of the owners. Right. Well, that assumes quite a few things. That assumes that you live in that jurisdiction. That assumes you really do pay taxes. And do you require any services there? Because this is a place where people go for help. This is a public assistance building. Do you need welfare? Do you need food stamps? Do you need temporary housing? Oh, you need none of those things? So you really have no official business there. Oh, just because you're a taxpayer doesn't give you carte blanche to roam around the building and act like a fool. Of course, you were born a fool. You can't help yourself, sonny boy. So please, carry on. Then who are they? What's their names? To, I don't have to tell you that. Well, I'll dial name one one and I'll have the officer talk to you about it, okay? How's that? He's going to let you know that there's nothing you can do, sir. What's your name? 
That's none of your business. Garda World Security. Clueless gentleman here. Doesn't this understand the Constitution. We have an individual in here causing a disturbance. Could you send an officer over here, please? You know, making a false, okay, it's, false uh, complaint. Okay, it's North, 200 West. Making a false police report is illegal, sir. Okay. All righty. Thank you. Did you know that? Okay. All righty. He's just one of these individuals. He's got his phone out. He's walking around, and then he's questioning everybody. I and haven't talked to anybody. that haven't been uh, requested to have their picture taken on his phone. Well, now, Sonny Boy, I think you are causing a public disturbance. You're interacting with people when you have no business there. That's a big deal, no doubt about it, because if you have no legitimate business in the building, why are you there? Oh, that's right. You're there to gather information for your channel. You're gathering information for your story for clicks and views i forgot well your borderline disorderly conduct with your smart mouth and cocky attitude now we're going to have to watch and see what transpires here but i'm betting that you ramp it up a bit just for how shall we say clicks and views and he's just uh becoming a nuisance Oh, he won't give me the name. What's your name? Mm -hmm, sure is. He says the owners gave him the permission, so I asked him who the owners were. But then he any questions me as to who the owners are, so I'm not going to get into word game. Okay, already. My name's Steve. Steve with Garda World Security. Oh, it'll be fine. I can, I can, uh, I, I can, I can wait until they get here, okay? I do appreciate it. Good luck with that. Okay, thank you. Right, you see, what this frauditor doesn't realize is that you can be kicked out of a public building and you can be trespassed from a public building. I don't know why all these frauditors are under the misapprehension that can't take place. You know, just with any business at all, it doesn't matter what kind of business it is, uh, the person in charge has the right to refuse service to anyone. So, if, for example, if you're at the Department of Motor Vehicles and you're waiting to get your driver's license or your tags renewed and you're causing a disturbance, even though that's a public facility and you're waiting for services, you can be kicked out. Yeah, come back on a different day when your attitude is better. No doubt about it. So uh, this guy will learn at the end of this video that he will be trespassed, sweetheart. Steve wants me trespassed from public property. I'm going to have you trespassed. Do you know how you get trespassed trespass from public to property? You, know. as soon as they you get have here, to break I'm a law. You, you have to break a law to be trespass in public property we'll see what happens. i didn't talk to any we'll single person that didn't walk up and talk to me first sir These people do not want you to take this picture i didn't record them yes you did Every no i did not swing around you got a moment i went like that oh boy and you don't have any uh, expectation of privacy in public sir you don't understand the constitution of the united states son you're just too damn young to even know anything of what you're talking i'm about. sorry i'm not too okay. damn stupid like you uh, okay you go ahead, you keep trying to bait, and you might end up with something you don't want. Good luck with that. What are you going to do, put hands on me? Oh, why should I put hands on you? I got officers coming. Good luck with that. Oh, They're not going to do anything. Oh, dearie me. Here we have yet another frauditor who part-time predicts the future. You should give up that part-time job, Sonny Boy, because predicting the future is not one of your strong suits. I don't know why so many frauditors think they have a crystal ball. They can foresee the future. Because your future, Sonny Boy, is being trespassed off the property. You don't have to commit a crime to be trespassed. I don't know where all this nonsense came from. Really, come on, help me out, people. Are they that stupid? Or is this just drama for YouTube? I want to know, really. Are they that stupid? I have to know these things. 
They're going to tell you the same thing I just told you. Okay. This is a public yeah, building you, that's fine. owned by the public. That's I can't fine. be trespassed unless I've broken a law. It's owned by the public, sir. You know, you are the exact problem. No, you are the exact problem. You don't understand constitutional rights. <laughs> you want to break my civil rights, sir? Uh, you don't like the civil rights? You don't like the civil rights that men and women fought you know, for in our country? Any respect that I may have had for this jerk just went out the window. Of course, I didn't have any respect for him, but I may have had a smidgen. But when you start talking about your civil rights being violated, you have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. Civil rights came around in the 1960s. I believe it was 1964, 1965, when President Lyndon B. Johnson signed into law. It was guarantees of social justice regarding race, creed, color, sex, and national origin, regarding rights to a fair trial, rights to vote, public education. Oh, this idiot. Oh, I lose my bloody mind every time I hear somebody say their civil rights are being violated. Go get an education, sonny boy. Go back to school, and then you can become a fraudator. Why don't you quit flapping your lips? And just I would have been out of here. There. I would have been out of here a long time ago. But you, you had to start causing now. problems, sir. Why don't you just get out of here right now? I don't now? have to. Okay, just wait till they get here. That's what I'm going to do. You called the police on me. I'm not going to run from the police. That's, that's exactly what I did. What do you think, I'm an idiot? Uh, I will refuse to answer Yeah, that. that's a good idea. Because it could intimidate you. That's a good idea. You want to retire tomorrow, don't you? Retire tomorrow? Yeah. Son, let me tell you what. I've got 30 years of Look law enforcement. Guy. Walking okay. up two feet from me. That's right. So I want you just to go and go park. There's a reason why there. you're not in law enforcement anymore. I've retired. Yeah. And how many laws did you break when you were in law enforcement? You might want to just. Have, let me ask you a question. Where, where were you in law enforcement at? That's none of your business. Where were you in law enforcement It's at? none of your business. How many people out there want to see this guy just give the frauditor a smack across the chops? Nothing serious, just a light little tap to knock some sense into him. Because he has no common sense at this point, does he? I don't have to do this, I don't have to do that. And I like when the officer says, son? <laughs> yeah, sonny boy, his son? Yeah, because I know that's really getting up the uh, frauditor's nose right now, no doubt about it. But this guy is cool. I like him. I like his style. This is a really long video. I'm going to have to cut it short. I just got to figure out what part I want to cut out because there's some really good stuff in here. Five minutes later. Steve, are you asking me to leave uh, public property? Okay. I've got uh, some people here who are starting to cry because of this guy. What's that? You've asked me to leave public property? Yes. All right. I just want to know. What's your name? So I can file a complaint? You're bothering the customers. I'm going to file a complaint on you. Don't worry about it. Okay. I'll find out who you are. All right. We'll be waiting. Okay? Okay. I'll be back when they tell me I can come back in. Well, Sonny Boy, I got bad news for you. You're not going to be like Arnold Schwarzenegger. You won't be back. Oh, you're going to have to file a lot of complaints now. And maybe a lawsuit or two. Maybe some litigation. But litigation's expensive, Sonny Boy. And looking at your social blade standings, I don't think you can afford it. So I jock it up to experience and go on to the next frauditing detail. Eventually. How are we doing, man? How are you today, sir? Pretty good. Mind if I just get your name? Yeah, it's on my shirt. Can you just pronounce it for me, please? It's just like it sounds. Just like Bear? Sounds. Pretty close. Can you just pronounce your name for me, please? Yeah, it's Kelly Barr. Thank you. Uh, Appreciate it. It's public property, man. I can't just, be trespassed yeah, from public property. Just, been, you cannot trespass not me. Having a conversation with you. You I'm cannot saying, trespass me from public property unless yeah. I've committed a crime. Not what crime do you suspect you. me of committing? 
There will be no conversation between me and you. I'm simply okay, Mr. Barr. passing information. You Since you're uh, above him, he's advised you. Yep. I know, but I can't be trespassed from public property. So if I go back in that building, Davis, I don't know will I be arrested? I really love when frauditors ask that question. There's only one surefire way to find out, frauditor. Walk back in that building and see if you get some shiny bracelets around your wrist. Then we would all really love to see that. And it would be good for clicks and views on your YouTube channel. Not to mention your frivolous lawsuit against the city. I think you should go for it, Frauditor. What does everyone else think? No doubt about it. If I go back in that building, will I be arrested? Were you just trespassed from the building? No, I was not. I just trespassed you. So if I go back in the building, I will be arrested. Okay. Right? No, I'm not going to get yes into or no. it with you. Yes or no? I'm not going to get into it with yes you. Yes or no? If I go back into a public building, will I be arrested? I simply pass the information on as requested, so we're done. Why can't you guys be professional? I believe we are. Well, I mean, you've been kind of kind. But Davis has just been having an issue since he got out of his car. Okay. All I want to know is if I go back into the building. Right now, why it's being investigated. Will I be arrested? Okay. The sergeant's working on that. Sounds like they've actually been trespassed. It sounds you like cannot. maybe they're reporting a crime at this point. So we'll work on that. Okay. All right. Good luck with that. The poor lad is so confused right now and he's having a temper tantrum. You can't trespass me. You can't do that. You can't do that. Good luck with that. Well, Sonny Boy, the police officers don't need luck. You need luck. And the reason you need luck is so you don't get arrested and get carted off to jail. Because with your smart mouth, I don't think you'd do well in jail with Bubba and the boys. Yeah, they'd turn you into a, well, I can't say that word on YouTube. But you understand what I'm talking about, don't you, Frauditor? Now stop having a temper tantrum, grow up, act like a man. I know that's a lot of work, I know that's a stretch, but just leave the premises because you are being trespassed. It's all on video, man. It's all on video. Oh, I, that. I didn't it's talk to video. one single person in that building unless they approached me. Okay. And I was kind to every single one of them except for Steve, the security guard who wants to cause issues and call the police on me for no exact reason. Well, that's why it's under investigation right now. So, so where's their property line start? Uh, that's a good question. Probably right here. Right where? We'll see. Because I don't want to step on their property if I'm being, you yeah, know what I mean? That would be the best for sure. We'll hang here until we have kind of a clear picture of what's going on. I just want to make it clear that I'm not being detained and that I'm standing here on my own free will. Do you concur with that statement? As far as I know right now, yes. Thank you. Can somebody please reach through their monitor and give this guy a smack across the chops? I said that earlier. That's all he needs. Just a little smack across the chops to bring him back to reality. Because he's living in a bizarro world. No doubt about it. Oh, the poor lad. Maybe when the sergeant arrives, he can talk some sense to him. Let's see what happens next. Okay. Sergeant, oh, what's your sorry. name? My name is Sergeant Bevan. So am I being trespassed from this building? You are. A public building? At their request. Public property? At your request, you're being trespassed. What, what crime do you think I am suspected of? I don't have any crime. They just All right. you not so, to you know, you cannot be trespassed from a public building without committing a crime? They've asked you not to return. So if I go back onto that property, will you arrest me as a sergeant? You could be subject to arrest. That's possible. Will I be arrested? I'm not going to... I'm not going to get into it with you, okay? It's a yes I'm, or no question, I'm sir. I'm you that you're trespassed from the property, okay? It's a yes or no so question. If I go back on, if now, I go back into the building, Sergeant. I'm not going to argue with If you I go now. back into the building, I'm not trying to argue, okay. man. The, I'm just asking you okay. a simple and yes I'm or no question. question. You, you, you could be subject to arrest if you enter the building. Will I be arrested, yes or no? I'm not going to give you a yes Because no. if you're not going to give me, if you're going to say, no, I'm not going to be arrested, then I'm going to go back in there. This frauditor is way past being a bloody wanker. He is just stupid. This is all for drama on YouTube channel, for his clicks and views, for his pitiful audience. Because the sergeant clearly said twice, you go back in there, you will be subject to arrest. Yeah, I don't know how much more clear the sergeant can be. How much more clear do you need this?
<laughs> if I go back in there, will I be arrested? It's a yes or no question. If you go back in there, you may be subject to arrest. Well, there you have it, idiot. <laughs> uh, yeah, I wish he would have gone back in there, but unfortunately he didn't. Let's wrap this up. But if you tell me I am going to be arrested, then I will then not go back subject, in there. You could be subject to arrest. Okay. And you are subject to a 1983 lawsuit for breaking my civil rights. That's fine. Have a good day. That's fine. Hey, why don't you? Why don't? Why do some of your officers give a badge number and some don't? I don't know. You guys have identification numbers of some sort. What's that? What's your identification number? Because uh, Lieutenant Randall gave me his, and I think it was four. Yeah, probably accurate. Yeah. So Sergeant's car is five two two five nine six. Well, folks, there you have it. An idiot, a moron, an imbecile, a blubbering buffoon at its finest. No doubt about that. And will I be trespassed? Am I being trespassed? You can't trespass me. <laughs> will I be arrested if I go back in there? Most certainly, my man. Go ahead and go back in there because we want to see some shiny bracelets on you. Oh, this guy is something else, isn't he? Hey, one of my viewers suggested this guy, so I have to thank my uh, viewer for that. No names. We never mention names on this channel because we know what that can lead to. Some serious doxing. Absolutely. But if you enjoy watching idiots, imbeciles, and morons on my channel, please subscribe. <laughs> As always, thanks so much for stopping by. Cheers to that. Oh, you assaulted me. I did. So you assaulted me. She assaulted me. Oh, oh no. Yo, you're racist. Katie. Racist. Oh, oh. Racist Nazi, that's a hate crime. You're being we're disorderly. Gonna... Oh, call the police. Morons, call the police. Please. Call the police. I'm not sitting down. I refuse to sit down. I refuse. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing. Nothing. You can come try to make me. You're welcome to try to make me. Take a swing. Take a swing. What is the reason for calling the officers here? You're going to jail, bro. Go ahead, put Stop your hands on me. me, bro. Put your hands on me. Bro, no I'm reason really, to have. I'm really, I'm really unhappy that somebody did this to me. I'm gonna arrest you for trespassing in a minute. On public property? Yeah. We're asking you to leave, and you're not leaving. That's trespassing. She's, jealous. she's right in my face, guys. You, you just assaulted me, ma'am. You can't t come up and touch me like that. You don't have permission to film me in any space. I don't need permission to, yes, to you record do. you in public, man. Actually, no, that's the do. law. Salam yalla handula, alu akbar. Greetings, Dr. Dave here. There was a great deal of confusion when I posted yesterday about my members only section. I will never charge to watch content on my channel ever. Let me repeat that. There will never be a charge to watch any videos on my channel. The members only section I was referring to is strictly for live streams. It's optional. You will never pay one single penny to watch anything on my videos or live streams. It's completely optional. If you would like to join the channel, it's up to you, but it will never cost a penny to watch anything on my channel ever. Now, let me get on with the public service announcement. Hello everyone, Dr. Dave here. Due to high demand and interest, Dr. Dave has decided to create a members only area for all his subscribers. Several badges and emojis are currently present. I'd like your feedback. What kind of badges and emojis would you like to see? And uh, right now there's only one level you can join at. Let me know what other levels you'd be interested in. I really don't want to charge people extra money for an early view of a video. I believe that everyone should see the videos when they become available. But if you're really interested in something that I can provide, let me know and I will look into it. But for now, <laughs> enjoy!